When you're doing any kind of electrical work on a classic car, sooner or later you're going to need to wire in some heavy amperage uh, components, like an electric fan for your radiator. You know, some of these components can draw a lot of amperage and you don't want to run a switch or a wire all the way back and forth, you know, using uh, you know, 10 gauge or 12 gauge wires. So uh, rather than have all that amperage to your switches, you use a relay. And what a relay does, it acts like another switch. And in this case, let me kind of point this out here on a, on a basic four pin relay, we have you know, there's, there's two pins on this relay that will serve to, actually, there's a wire inside this little block that uh, has, it's a, a little electromagnet. And what this electromagnet does is it pulls closed a switch so the electricity can flow from two other points. So this is very low voltage. The amount of voltage to actually activate that little electromagnet is very small. So that switch on your dash is just, you know, it's maybe pulling, you know, just a fraction of an amp of uh, electrical draw, but it's completing a circuit that may be a 30 or 40 amp draw. And now you don't have all that voltage going up to your switch. You don't, you're not running huge, heavy cables back and forth. You know, you uh, instantly have got your power close to, you know, the point of use. And the, another benefit is this, is whenever you're running wire, the longer the wire, the, the more amper, the, you start to lose amperage as you go through. It's called line loss. And what the way to get around that is keep those wires, keep your heavy gauge wires as short as possible. If you have a relay mounted close to your, like your electric radiator fan, you can uh, then, you know, when you flip that little switch inside, which is just a low voltage switch, then you can have a short distance from your battery or from a circuit, uh, from a, a fuse block out in your engine apartment to the, to the electric fan and keeping that circuit real short like that will increase the amount of voltage available or amperage available for the actual device itself. So the way that, you know, the, and again, that's the way a four pin works. A five pin works much the same way. A uh, five pin is used a little less common. Okay, as you can see in, in this relay, the fifth pin, which is actually cut off or ground off in here because it's not actually available in here, is, is also operates the same way. It, it has a, uh, it can operate so it can send voltage either on or off. And this would be used like in a situation where you may need like uh, higher low beams on headlights. So, so once you hit your, you know, your high beams, it would flip over or, you know, flip from low to high and it would complete the circuit differently. Uh, it can also be used for variable speeds on fans and, and, and some, uh, you know, various other wiring uh, schematics. Okay, let's look at how a relay is actually wired. You know, your power comes into your switch uh, through the 86. And this, you know, the switch is your low voltage side, you know, low amperage side. So this is relatively thin wire. You know, your 86 is just going in, then your ground then becomes... Uh, the 85 terminal. So your 86 is your power in, 85 is your ground, and all those two do is activate that a little electromagnet inside the relay. Then the real, the real power of this is your 30, which is your main, your heavy uh, wire in or heavy amperage in, and then out to your accessory is your 87. So 30 and 87 are your two main leads to complete that connection. And 86 and 85 are the, the switched connections. Okay, that kind of explains the basics on how to wire a relay in. And you know, the advantages of having a relay you know, kind of go without saying, you know, you have, you know, short, keep your main power lead short. You know, you can reduce your fire risk by having, 
you know, low voltage wires running to switches and, and various other components. And, you know, the, the relays themselves are fused. They'll like, if you look at any fuse, any relay, they're usually rated for a uh, maximum amount of power. And like this one here is a 30 amp and, uh, and this one here is marked 40. So when you're buying a relay, you wanna make sure you buy a relay that's rated for the amperage of whatever uh, you want it to operate plus about 20%. So you don't wanna be right at the limit if it's you know a 30 amp fan, you don't wanna buy a 30 amp uh, breaker, you wanna be there plus 20% or whatever. So you might wanna look at like a 35 amp breaker. So consider, you know, consider using relays whenever you're doing uh, any kind of electrical work that involves heavy load electrical devices.